an analytical review of the literature on motivation and technology-based learning, presented by Dan Clark. This slidecast was prepared as partial fulfillment of the course requirements for Education 6610. The purpose of this slidecast is to present an analysis of the theme of motivation in technology-based learning. Motivation refers to the desire and willingness to do something, or the internal or external forces that cause a person to exhibit enthusiasm and persistence in their work toward a goal. Motivation includes the desire for mastery, achievement of performance goals, intrinsic and extrinsic interests, and feeling of self-efficacy. Technology-based learning refers to learning environments where the context, resources, tools, and scaffolds rely on technology. Motivation is an important theme because it is one of the most significant components of learning in any educational context. Motivation is also the single most important predictor of student success in distance education. Yet, motivating students in technology-based learning can be challenging due to restricted interaction between teacher and student, limited avenues of communication, inadequate supervision, and student isolation. The 10 sources that form the basis of this analysis were selected from 10 peer-reviewed educational technology journals. Because all sources were selected from educational technology journals and books, all included an electronic medium. The primary inclusion criteria was that only sources with the words motivation as part of the title would be included. To figure as part of the analysis, the journal sources had to include research participants. This means that meta-analysis or book reviews were excluded. The studies selected ranged from 2003 to 2011. An analysis of the methods of the selected studies helped to clarify the re research methodologies. Several of the, of the studies used previously developed measurement tools, such as the Academic Motivation Scale and the Motivated Strategies for Learning Questionnaire. The research participants in nine of the studies were university students. Only one study involved interviews with high school teachers, and this was also the only study that used qualitative methods, and the remainder used entirely quantitative methods. The studies included in this analysis were conducted across a wide geographic area, including Canada, United States, Japan, Taiwan, India, Malaysia, Pakistan, and Turkey. The studies refer differently to technology-based learning, including distance learning, online learning, e-learning, and open educational system. For the purpose of, the, of this slidecast, the term technology-based learning will be used. The analysis revealed three themes as follows. Learner characteristics that affect motivation, internal factors of motivation, and external factors of motivation. Inferno internal factors related to forces within a person, their enjoyment in learning tasks, and their interest, while external factors related to rewards and consequences, and these were generally all factors that were external to the learner. The first theme was the effect of learner characteristics on motivation. The studies in this analysis demonstrated that rural and urban locations, gender, work experience, and previous technology-based learning experience had a significant effect on motivation. By comparison, computer experience and ethnic background did not have a significant effect on motivation. Two learner characteristics that had an effect on motivation were rural and urban locations and gender. For urban and rural locations, urban students demonstrated higher motivation levels than rural students in traditional classrooms. However, the opposite was, was true of technology-based learning. Regarding gender, it was found that female students showed a significantly higher degree of learning. Therefore, in the online learning environments, females learned better than males. Two other learner characteristics that had an effect on motivation included previous technology-based learning experience and work experience. In, com in a comparison of MBA students, the experienced e-learners demonstrated more motivation than novice e-learners. Student motivation 
and technology-based courses was also affected by the degree of work experience. It was suggested that students who were not working demonstrated greater motivation in their learning. By comparison, students who were working experienced more opportunities to apply their learning than those who were not working. Ethnic background and computer experience were the two learner characteristics that did not produce significant differences in student motivation. It was demonstrated that no significant differences existed in the motivation of the ethnic groups surveyed. Similar findings were demonstrated with computer experience. It was noted that limited computer experience was a potential stumbling block for students engaging in technology-based learning. However, students new to a technology-based learning course may have initially had low, low motivation, but this changed rapidly as ability, confidence, and motivation all increased. Internal motivational factors were related to the forces within a person that come from an interest or enjoyment found in the learning task. Internal motivational factors included self-confidence, interest, effect, relevance, and satisfaction. The two internal motivational factors are self-confidence and interest. Self-confidence was described as the degree to which a learner believed in their ability to achieve a task. Students who were more independent in their learning and could find and use information on their own had more control over their learning, therefore feeling increased motivation and self-confidence in their online course. Regarding interest, it was found that interest promoted learner involvement in challenging tasks. Students who placed greater value on the course and were interested in learning as curriculum tended to choose the online lectures. Learners with active behaviors were intrinsically motivated to perform tasks and didn't require much extrinsic motivation. The remaining three internal motivational factors are effect, relevance, and satisfaction. Effect was described as influencing the emotion of a learner. Emotion was reported to significantly affect student learning. Technology-based course instructors and developers could also increase effect and emotion of students by applying collaborative learning principles. Relevance was another essential motivational factor. It was concluded that customizing assignments and class projects in technology-based courses by incorporating students' own experiences would increase relevance and thus internal motivation. Satisf satisfaction include natural consequences, equity, and positive consequences. Issues of sat with satisfaction in technology-based learning were due to perceptions of inequality in rural centers. It was also reported that student attrition was often higher in technology-based learning, which negatively impacted learner satisfaction and in in intrinsic motivation. External motivational factors were external to the learner and may be related to rewards or consequences. Specifically, external factors included reinforcement, learner environments, flexibility, and communication and learner interaction. The first two external motivational factors are reinforcement and flexibility. Reinforcement was described as grades, instructor feedback, peer support, and technical support. Tracking, checking, monitoring, support of others, and encouragement were important reinforcement strategies suggested by teachers working in technology-based contexts. It was also reported that rewards and feedback helped online students feel confident, which increased their motivation. One explanation for this was that passive learners lacked intrinsic motivation and needed encouragement at each stage of the learning process in the form of extrinsic motivation from teachers. Flexibility was concluded to be an important learning initiator in informal learning environments. Similarly, one of the motivations for new MBA students in the study was the flexibility of the online learning program. The remaining two external motivational factors to be discussed are communication and learner interaction and learning environments. It was noted that communication between the instructor and student helped online students feel competent, which increased their motivation. In addition, collaborative learning and sharing and face-to-face -face meetings were important for learner interaction. One study suggested that collaborative learning activities and technology-based courses were an important way to increase student motivation. 
Another study revealed that face-to-face -face communication enhanced student motivation. Teacher-initiated communication on a regular basis that included a sense of humor was also noted as a way of motivating students. Learner environments included social situations, family contexts, and economic conditions. And the status of a technology-based course had a significant effect on extrinsic motivation, as did access to technology. In reviewing the findings, there are conflicting findings in, for achievement and motivation. One study reported higher course completion rates in technology-based courses, yet no significant difference between technology-based learning or traditional, uh, or traditional classes in student motivation of mastery or independent study. It was suggested that the interactivity and novelty of technology-based programs increased engagement and decreased student procrastination. Another study found higher intrinsic motivation in students taking technology-based courses, but no significant difference between traditional and technology-based programs in extrinsic motivation. And another study reported higher motivation levels in traditional learning environments than in technology-based learning environments. In terms of limitations of this analysis, few of the included studies used qualitative methods. There was only one study that used exclusively qualitative methods. It was also the only study that focused on high school students from a teacher's perspective. Therefore, this analysis would benefit from other studies at the high school level, as well as from the teacher's perspective at the university level. Finally, additional studies comparing motivation in technology-based learning in traditional classrooms might clarify the conflicting findings on achievement and motivation. The studies in this analysis provided implications for practice in technology-based learning that will enhance student motivation. The most important practical implications for technology-based learning are related to self-confidence, reinforcement, and communication and learner interaction. It was suggested that student self-confidence was increased with direct training that helped learners access information, develop information searching strategies, and communicate the information they found. It was recommended that rewards, feedback, and communication between the instructor and student help technology-based students feel confident, which increased their motivation. Further implications in terms of reinforcement included the use of timely feedback, frequent emails to check progress, and encouragement as important motivation factors for students. Communication and learner interaction implications identified that communication, interaction, and relationships were especially important in technology-based contexts where the teacher and student were separated in time and space. Finally, it was implied that social networking, online discussions, and messaging should be used to increase student motivation in formal learning environments. In conclusion, for the 10 studies in this analysis, motivation in technology-based learning is a result of the complex interactions of learner characteristics, internal factors, and external factors.